I'm no fighting game aficionado, but there are few things in life that beat a good Hadouken. Ah, oh, lovely, there we go. Uh, this is Street Fighter 4 Championship Edition, which has just gone live on iPhone, iPad, and Android. It is an entirely new game, but it's not really, from Street Fighter 4 Vault, which I think was like the last game that we got on mobile. And rather than this being a completely new app we built from the ground up, I get the impression it is an update to the existing app, if you like. So it is, as you can see, a little bit better looking than Vault was if you're an old Vault player. Uh, it is not really much more than that. You've got some new characters thrown in. I can't remember which ones exactly. We'll check on the title screen when I die, because it is inevitable that I will die. Um, and they've got things like controller support, so you can finally use an MFI controller if you want to, which I would probably advise because oh, touchscreen controls for a fighter like this, I mean even just getting used to pulling off the most basic stuff, it's a little bit on the awkward side. You can see what my fingers are doing. So you can see that it, oh damn, I tried to get the, uh, uh, the upward punch coming off there and it just didn't work. Let's see if I can get one of my focus attacks. Oh, bugger. There we go, that's what I wanted, lovely. So it plays a little bit better than I was expecting. It feels like the controls have been tightened up slightly, but like I say, I'm no expert. I can play it and I can sort of gain some enjoyment and I've been playing it for about sort of 20 minutes now and it's like, yeah, I've sort of remastered the basics because it is strange playing it on a touchscreen, especially without the physical feedback of real buttons. And if you are a serious Street Fighter 4 player, then, I mean, I don't know, you're probably not even watching this because you'd be like, mobile, Street Fighter, are you joking? Uh, and I get that. I totally get that because, you know, it's not necessarily a perfect fit and I'm the one who always goes on about how the best games are tailored to their devices and a game like this, what, oh, oh, ow, no, 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 not just before the end, that's outrageous, I'm gonna try and sweep kick him, damn you, all right, fine, let's, oh, <laughs> that was rubbish, uh, tailoring games to their devices and playing off their strengths, and I would argue that, you know, a game like this is best played with a hoary fighting stick with six buttons and a, you know, proper setup, and that's how you play Street Fighter. And maybe this isn't that. Oh, I want to do my little focus punch. Okay, missed. But it works. And I think it'll cater to an audience of people who are just, you know, just that into Street Fighter or just want to be able to play it in some way or some form at all times. And you know what? This might well scratch their itch. I'm a little bit disappointed in terms of, you know, it's not a great looking game. I'd have thought it smartened it up a little bit more than, than this, but maybe not. There we go, bosh. And, uh, you know, Street Fighter 4 is kind of an old game by now. I don't know why they... I mean, it might just be a money thing, that's why they didn't bother to remake the entire game and build an entire new one. But if you played Vault and you thought that there was stuff missing and that you wanted to, you know bring it up to speed or closer with the console versions of Street Fighter 4, then this sort of might scratch that itch. It's £4.99 or $4.99 though, I should point out. Uh, so, it's not the cheapest, but at the same time, it's got that Street Fighter pedigree and people will continue to pay a load of money for it. Let's see if I can get him this time. Yeah, I got him that time. Nice, I'll take it. Damn, there we go. Dragon Punch is always slightly trickier on this touchscreen business, trying to go the forward down and then diagonal bottom corner on the touchscreen is a bit, go on, awkward. I want to get it, I want to pull it off, hang on. I'll do the throw and then, no, you twitch shies, you absolute jerkwad. Screw it, go for the kicks. Bam. Oh, he's blocked everything. Sagat, you jerkwad. Ooh, that was nice. I like that. That was good. Yeah, have some of that. Ah, damn it. Too early. Oh, he's, he's pasting me here. I'm not surprised. I'm a few fights deep now. See, it feels slower. I don't know if it is or whether it's just because the, the frame rate's really low. And that's why it feels that way. We're going to just do, is it what we're going to do the end of Harry Potter now? Is this what this is? <laughs> I'm going to get one through. I'm going to do it. Yeah! <laughs> no. Let's, let's kick this fool. No, no! Come on! Come on! See what I mean? 
was pulling them off fine earlier, but if you, if you, if you don't look down, if your thumb slips a little bit, because you haven't got that stick there, the physical feedback to tell you where you are, it gets a little bit, a little bit ropey. But then, like I say, I've only been playing it for a wee bit. So you can leave all your noob comments elsewhere, because yes, <laughs> obviously I am. I've only just picked it up. Come on, man. Give me some sweeps. There we go. That's what I want. Ooh, double knees in the chest there. That was flamey. I like that. That's good. Finish him with a kick. Yes. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Weird sound levels as well. He's complaining again. I still haven't got what it takes, but you can't hear him underneath the music. It's got like questionable levels. I'm running this on an iPhone 6, by the way. It obviously it runs fine. The, the frame rate feels a bit hokey, but it's that's what it looks like. I've looked at the main trailers that they released, you know, where it's probably running on, an, you know, the newest, the iPhone 7 and whatnot, and it still looks like this. <laughs> There's no real benefit either way. Oh, wow. Yes. Focus punch in there. And the big flamer. Lovely. And down. He's it. He's done for. He's toast, people. Dear me. Don't know how many rounds I got through there, but it was more than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, I know. You know what? I'm cool with it. Got to Sagat. That's fine. I'm going to say no. I just want to give you a quick look at the characters so you can see who's on the roster this time. 15 minutes, 5 wins. I'll take it as a first run. Uh, so, this is what you got. That was the arcade game. You do have the ability to go online and play. Have a look at the battle. See so ranked matches and free matches. So you can do that with other people. We should probably go in. See if they can find an opponent. Just to test whether it's any good. You do log into Game Center at the beginning of playing. I'm just interested now to see what the lag and the response is like. Am I just going to get the eternal buffer of doom? This is what you get for playing online, isn't it? Come on. I know it's launch day. There must be someone out there desperate to play against... Hey! And that is online play on mobile, ladies and gentlemen. That's why Clash Royale is such an impressive feat. Uh, now, let's just do the arcade game because I want to show you who we've got. Right, there we go. That's the list. I'll let you... Ingest that screen full of people. There's your poison, the buku, there's uh, Matoko over there, lovely. See Viper, all the rest, and then a few one, two, three, four, five, six hiddens and two question mark actions, which I assume is the randomizer. There we go. So that's what you're looking at, boys and girls. Street Fighter 4 Championship Edition, now available on the App Store, 4.99. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.